Yeah, and Amy, make sure to hang out for a few minutes because coming up, we are going to make Mad Men worthy cocktails. Oh, I'm signing up. We will watch you miss right? out on that. We'll be right back. <laughs> Our favorite egotistical, ruthless, and morally bankrupt ad men are back, and we thought that we would celebrate their return with what they love the most, and that's a good old fashioned cocktail. Yeah, when all else fails, just pick up a drink, Start right? Uh, we've got Nicole Taraska here. She's mixologist at the Electric Room right here in New York City, and Nicole's going to show us how to make some <laughs> 1960s inspired Mad Men cocktails. And before we get to the drinks, you look fabulous, darling. You. you really, you really dress the part. Thank you very Can much. Can I ask you a very personal question? On do you dress like this normally? Is this uh, part of the... this? Is my personal style. That's what yes. I like. Okay, so we, we, she knows what I'm she's gonna, talking I'm not about. Here. I'm just gonna... Yeah, just move out of the way here. Okay, so we're going to talk about some drinks, and it's kind of like a new twist on old favorites, and that's how we're going to start off with this yes. right today, right? Okay. Uh, today we're going to use the Camus Cognac. Mm -hmm. It's fifth generation. Their family has been uh, family owned and operated for hundreds over a hundred years. Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. It's very good. It's got a nice floral note. On Ooh, the nose. Floral, okay. What yeah. is this drink that we're getting mm. ready to do? This is time. called the Suicide Sidecar. Ooh. Suicide Sidecar. And this is sort of an update of like Don Draper's everyday. This I'm liquoring up in the office. Right. Yeah, this is like, I'm not going to get too wasted in the office. Not too wasted. So you can use be... this for a nice a viewing party. Yep. Good drink for Nice you. for a view, viewing okay. party. Very easy to make. All right. We're using two ounces of the Camus. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use one ounce of a ginger cognac. So it's cognac on cognac, Ooh. a, a typical sidecar. Oh, I love car. me some cognac on cognac. <laughs> I sure do. This is agave nectar and lemon juice pre-mixed already. A lot of people okay. use agave. Is that, yeah. does that sweeten it? What does it do? Um, it is a, a natural sweetener, and uh, it's a little lower in the glycemic index, so it's mm -hmm. natural, and it doesn't give you that, like, sugar headache. Great. Okay, and then you Great. pre -mix. Is there a reason? that Can you do it separately, or does it blend You can blend do it separately, but this, like, makes it nice and even. Exactly. It doesn't, okay. like, because it's, it's like honey, mm -hmm. so you don't want it to coagulate inside Take of it. Take care Great. of that. Okay. So we'll shake it out. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. I like the name of this drink, though. The side the suicide car. Suicide, suicide side car. car. Yeah, I like that. A typical sidecar is made with uh, orange-flavored liqueur. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're going to use the ginger to give it an updated version. Uh, I okay. love everything that's in this so Jay, far. Jay, you're going to try this one And that's one a little out? piece of ginger there on the rim? Yep. You can, you can serve oh. it with a little bit of ginger and a brandy cherry inside, or you can really wow your friends with a hibiscus flower. Oh. Something oh, fun wow. for the ladies. That's very good. Okay, I gotta try that. And that's edible as well. Okay. A little surprise at the bottom. Okay. While we yes. try these out, uh, Nicole, can we move on to the yeah, second we'll one? Yeah, we'll move you on to the next drink while Audra and I start Absolutely. getting Thank intoxicated. Thank you so over very here. much. Please okay. go ahead. So this is going to be an updated version of the uh, slow gin fizz. We're making it with Fonseca Bin 27. Oh, has nice. blackberry and uh, really oh. beautiful chocolate notes to it. Okay. okay so yummy. We're, so we're like, oh, I'm still really lost in the suicide sidecar, but please <laughs> continue. This, this is really easy to make, again, for an office party. It would be mm -hmm. fun, easy to make. Mm -hmm. You can make it with a little bit of egg white, like traditionally, but today we're going to just make it with a little bit of club soda. Did you egg white in a drink, for real? Mm -hmm. You get, get a real nice froth on there. It's like the old school way to really? make a, I, a fresh sour mix. I've never heard that This before. is why you got to have a mixologist. Mm -hmm. I know, The bartender right? will not How do. long have you been a mixologist for? I started mixing drinks when I was 17 because a bartender didn't show up. Oh, really? <laughs> and 17? They, yep, and the guy in Embarrassed me. He's like, I want a gin Gibson. And I said, I have no idea what that is, sir. And he was like, You better learn your stuff. And I was like, Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yes, obviously, did. you lied and about your age, right? You didn't let him know that nope. you were 17. Okay. And, and so what did you? What was the last thing you said? This is a brandy in? cherry, just brandy a little cherry. garnish, a little mm -hmm. fun surprise at the bottom. Okay. okay. Audra, I'll, I'll, I'll let you because I'm going to okay, start I'll slurring my words very soon. Okay. Was well, anything different from any other day you're here? Mmm. What do you think? Oh, me likey too. I got to take both. <laughs> no, switch again no, no, switch because we, we need to. You sure. gotta get a, okay, uh, sure. one more here. Oh yeah, uh, the next one is a, is a Moscow mo Moscow Mule. Okay. Um, we are doing this in favor of the dark and stormy, but we're calling it the calm before the storm. The ah, calm. the calm before so, the storm. So this way, uh, this is more like calorie conscious. Okay. So this is the skinny girl drink yes. for all the secretaries in the right. Mad Men office right. who are watching their figure. Those are drink. Those kind of drinks are really popular right about now, too. It you is. You want to enjoy is. but not have all the, you know. And is that just excess. straight lemon juice? This is lime. Lime juice. Yes. And then this is a ginger beer. You can get it at any organic store, Whole Foods. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty much anywhere nowadays. People are really into it. Wow. And then top it off. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. And since I'm hand watching hand. my figure, I'll go ahead and test it out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. These are really good, Nicole. Thank I you love so these. Much. Thank you. This is good. It's not yeah. overwhelming. Exactly. Like, it feels like I could unfortunately probably drink a half a dozen of these it, right? before I realized how drunk I was. But it's, it's a good be, summer drink. It has mm. to be a lot of fun to do things like this because you can mix and match and just really have fun with yes. what you're doing every day on the job, right? And the ginger, once again, I love these little pieces of ginger. There's we, are people these, coming in. They must want some drinks. People, yes, we're being invaded by people who want to start drinking. By the way, you can find all the recipes for all of these drinks on our website. BetterTV.com. Got to get some drinks ready for them over there. Mm. Uh, coming up next.